Hi guys. Um, I just did something really stupid, and I was just, I just thought it's so stupid. I need to tell people. But um, I'll tell, you, I'll tell you, I've got two stories, right? Two stories, not one, two. Um, the first story is the other night I was lying, I was like, I was up playing wild and stuff, and I went to my bed at about half one, and I just got in the bed, and I was just lying down, and the basement door slammed shut. I live above the basement, and the basement door's normally locked, but for whatever reason it was unlocked, and it slammed shut. And my whole room vibrated, it wasn't like I was like making it up in my head, like I thought I heard it, because sometimes when I'm alone in the house, I think I hear people going into the basement and I totally freak myself out. But I heard a slam, and I was like, holy shit, there's somebody in the basement. So I ran through the living room, and my mum was still awake, she's sitting watching telly, and I was like, oh my god, there's somebody in the basement! And she's like, what, what? And she was sure freaking out as well. And we got Max, and we went outside, and Max shot across the garden in the dark. And I was like, oh my god, and I'm standing at the bottom of the stairs like this. Like, do I run, do I follow him, do I go back up the stairs, what the fuck am I going to do? Totally shitting myself. Um, so, Max came back over, like, wagging his tail, like, I did such a good job, herder. And um, I ran up to the basement, I slammed the boat across, I wasn't going to stay behind the padlock or anything like that. I was like, fuck this, get back in the house. If there's somebody in there, they're staying in there. So we went back into the house, and I thought, oh, I haven't told my dad, so he'll go up in the morning, and he'll go down in the basement, and whoever's in there will whap him over the head with something, and he'll die. But there was nobody in the basement, it was just me. Oh, if there was somebody in the basement, they're still down there. That was like three days ago. I don't think there was somebody in there. They said, Mum and Dad were like, Ah, oh, it's just the wind slamming the door shut, but there was no wind, it was breathing, and there was no wind, and even if there had been a wind, the door opens inwards, how the fuck is the wind going to get in and slam the door shut, unless there was some sort of air getting under the house somehow, but there's no way that could have been happening. So, sorry, I'm just watching the fox, something in Batman. So, no. Nah. But I'm still pretty freaked out by that, like, because I'm a total pair of pants. <laughs> but, um, and my other story is, um, I just went, I'm on, um, birth control pills, and it's a bit of a girly subject. I'm on birth control pills, because I hate condoms, and I'm not sticking some implant under my arm, and I'm not getting an injection, I'm not having my period stop, fuck that. Uh, your period's natural, it's meant to happen, so I'd rather have it happen. So, um, I went to the GP there, because I've missed my family planning appointments, because of this placement I've been on, which is now finished. <laughs> um, so I'm off for two weeks to do my essay, yay, and then two weeks is nothing. Yeah! I say nothing, two weeks of wow. Um, great, back on subject. Uh, so I went to the GP there to get my, my pill. And she was like, now, are you on this pill? Are you on that pill? And I was like, mm, well, I was on this pill. But then I changed to that pill. But I think I'm back in this pill. And she was like, right. Well, if you're on that pill, it's okay for you to keep taking it. And you'll be fine. But if you're on this pill, if, if I give you this pill, you will have to wait like two weeks and use condoms or whatever and I was like shit I don't know what pill I'm on I can't remember because they were both the same colour packet and I thought right I'll come home and I'll check so she gave me the pill whatever and I thought I'll come home and check and if, it's, if they're both the same pill I'll be fine I can just keep taking them and it'll be fine so I came home and I thought I'll get it but no I've binned it so I went in the kitchen to check the top of the bin because I binned it this morning and the bin's been emptied and I was like fuck so I had to go out the bin outside and I pulled the bin bag out and I opened the bin bag and I was reading through it and there's like packets that were holding meat and there was cat litter and tins of cat food and bits of cat food and stuff the hoovering's been done and there was like the dust and stuff from the hoover and I was like Whoa, right through the bin looking for this wee packet of pills what empty packet and I just couldn't find it and I was like ah the whole bin emptied like the bag opening and all the stuff at the side oh and I put it all back in, I eventually gave up and I put it all back in and I thought I'll double check the bin in the kitchen. Of course I checked that bin first but I didn't see it. But I put them inside a crisp packet that I'd put into the bin this morning and then her door. There's the crisp packet with my pill packet inside. Pretty much clean because the bin liner's fresh. So I was like I can't believe I just raided through that whole bin. So I gave my hands a very good wash and some antibacterial <laughs> hand gel as well because just to be super clean they smell okay I might wash them again later because I'm a bit grossed out <laughs> but anyway that's my story <laughs> um, sorry I'm a bit hyper because I've got like four weeks off and I haven't started messy yet <laughs> I better get started on it I have started it I just I'm going to stop talking
Bye. <laughs>